Hello crafty friends, I'm Lean from Studio Kato and I'm so happy to be back with another video and this one is a special one. Uh, today Alex Happy Designs and Lindy's Gang are teaming up for a collaborative YouTube hop and so you're going to see a ton of inspiration from each brand and of course there is a giveaway so stay tuned for that. I'm going to be making a Christmas card today and I'm going to be using the festive poinsettia stem set from Alex Iberia Designs. It's a huge stem set with this huge poinsettia. It can very easily fill up an A2 card panel. I'm going to stamp it off in the corner using my Misty and some Versamark clear embossing ink. I'll be doing an emboss resist technique today, so I'm going to make sure that this is stamped perfectly. So I'm stamping it three times using my Misty, really easy to do with a stamping tool. And I did make sure that my Versamark ink pad was nice and juicy before I started stamping. I'm going to use the Angel Wings embossing powder from Lindy's Gang, which is a clear embossing powder, but it has a gorgeous pink sheen to it. So it's a really special embossing powder, and if you use it on dark cardstock, I tested it out, um, you mostly see that pink sheen, so it doesn't appear clear anymore, but on white cardstock it does. So it's a really fun powder to use for uh, one of these embossing emboss resist techniques, because it adds just a little bit of extra oomph. Now, I know Lindy's Gang mostly from their Magicals, which are pigment powders that you use with water. All you have to do is sprinkle them on. In this case, I'm sprinkling them on my poinsettia. I'm sprinkling red or pink wherever I want the red and pink to be, um, which is a lot more noticeable in real life. <laughs> that clear embossing is a lot more noticeable in real life, so... I, it's not as fussy as it appears to be in, on video because you can't see the lines, I can. <laughs> um, so I just sprinkle on some of that amazing powder and I spritz on some water and let the powder work its magic. I recommend you don't touch this too much with a brush. All I am doing is dragging the color to the places I still need it to be. I'm not mixing up the paints. I am not... Um, because these powders, they separate into different colors. So there's a little bit of orange and yellow and pink in this pink powder. And it's so stunning. So if you spritz it with water, you're going to see it separate in all its uh, subcolors. Um, but if you mix it all together with a paintbrush, obviously you're just going to end up with pink. I didn't want that. So I'm touching it very minimally just dragging the uh, water to where I want a tiny bit of color still. I do make sure that some of it goes outside of the lines because that makes those clear embossed outlines a little bit more noticeable. Now for the leaves of the poinsettia, I am going to use this uh, teal blue um, magical powder and I'm going to sprinkle that on again, spritz on some water. I am being a little bit more careful here because I don't want this blue to overtake all of the pink on my poinsettia. So I'm not covering my entire card base or card panel with water. I am just spritzing it on the leaves and hoping for the best. Uh, when it goes on the pink, I dab it away, which still leaves the blue. Uh, these powders stain quite a bit, so uh, you can't really lift them with water, t water either. So I just dab away the liquid so it doesn't spread even further, if that makes sense. I'm going to add a little bit of gold to this as well. This is just Ecoline liquid uh, watercolor in the gold color. I'm going to paint the center of the poinsettia gold and then I can add some tiny, tiny gold splatters along this card panel as well. 
Once this is all dry and I do speed this up a little bit with my heat tool along the way, uh, I'm going to trim this panel down a little bit so I can use a matting layer and I'm using a hot hot pink. This is the dragon fruit cardstock from Conquer the Ninth. It's by far my favorite pink cardstock. I'm going to glue that panel on top of my white top folding note card and I'm using liquid glue because that's just my personal preference but you can use whatever adhesive you have on hand and what's easy for you. Um, and then I'm going to prop my panel up on some cardboard because that is very nice and sturdy and it's not going to get creased as easily in the mail as um, foam tape will. So about that giveaway, uh, Alex Xavier Designs and Lindy's Gang are each giving away two £25 gift cards to their stores. So there are four gift cards up for grabs. All you have to do is leave comments along the hop. You can click in the description below on the next video. There will be links to the next and the previous video in this list. So you can uh, make your way around the hop, see all all of the inspiration from all of the design team members that are participating and um, yeah comment for a chance to win one of these gift cards <laughs> really really easy to play along and what a fun prize you can win I'm going to finish this card off with a uh, sentiment. This is the Falala sentiment from Alex Abir Designs. Uh, there is a die set, which I used, and there is a hot foil plate as well. Uh, you can combine them so you can cut out the hot foil sentiment with the die set as well. I got this one from a really nice deep blue glitter cardstock from Altenew. It's linked in the description below and I highly recommend getting this uh, glitter cardstock because it's so so stunning. I need a refill of this cardstock already. Um, that blue is just phenomenal. <laughs> I really love it. I finished this up with some gold matte pearls from Pink Fresh Studio and that's it. A really fun Christmas card, really soft loose water coloring and a fun slightly non-traditional <laughs> um, color palette there as well with that hot pink. I hope you liked the card, I hope you liked the video, if you did make sure to leave a thumbs up on this video, leave your thoughts in the comments below, I would love to read them, and don't forget to hop along for a chance to win one of those amazing gift cards. Thank you so much for watching, don't forget to subscribe, because I hope to see you next time, bye!